Now, the Nashville folk duo The Civil Wars formally broke up last year despite having enjoyed huge success, winning four Grammys. Grammys? Grammys, and not Grammys, but Grammys. <laughs> and going on tour with famous fan Adele. <laughs> well, in between uh, the splits and making a new album, singer Joy Williams endured heartbreak following the death of her father and happiness with the birth of her son. These conflicting emotions provided the backdrop for her new solo. She joins us now. Morning, lovely to see you. Morning, good I will to talk see you to both. you in a second. Yeah. Uh, we're just going to hear the new single, Until the Levy. I see a ghost out on the water. I swear it has my face. Oh, good morning. morning. Well, well it's, uh, it's a very powerful album with a lot of yeah. you know, very strong emotions. And just tell us a little bit about that song and what it means to you. Yeah, I mean, uh, you're right. The album did take a lot. It was a lot to work through, but I think writing the album was sort of one of my ways that I healed. And um, until the levy came about, I, I like to collect quotes because I'm a little nerdy. And um, there's a quote by Eleanor Roosevelt that says, uh, a woman is like a bag of tea. You never know how strong she is until she's put in hot water. And that was how I was feeling. I was just feeling like with, you know, with the cancer diagnosis of my father and the band ending really abruptly and becoming a new mom. I just said mom. Um, becoming a new mom and, um, and trying to figure out what life looked like now. It was, uh, I just felt like I was sort of up to my eyeballs in it all. But I realized really early on that um, I could let it overtake me or I could learn a new way to stand in the midst of all of it and maybe become more awake and stronger for having gone through it. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm glad to say I feel like I have, I have come more along that path of being a little more awake, I think. I mean, so you had a tough, I mean, you had a tough, it was about a year, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, does writing it down, that, as you say, makes you feel much better about it. And, sure. But what, what about sharing it? Do you worry about sharing it? Uh, absolutely. It's a very vulnerable thing to, you know, to, to be that vulnerable in general, to be yeah. that raw with how you're feeling. But I don't really know any other way how to do it. I think that the last few years have just made me more okay with how uh, messy I am and how messy life can be. I used to I used to make sure everything could be as orderly as possible, and I'm realizing uh, that's not always possible. Especially when you've got a three-year-old. Yeah, which you have a three-year-old will always help you realize that you are not actually in control. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just have to roll with it. Uh, I mean, there are you know, strong messages in, in some of these songs. Mm -hmm. There's you know, lines about for forgiveness mm -hmm. and the idea of forgiveness lines, you know, recrimination, blame, that sort of thing. And I wonder well, which way those messages are scattered. Some people will say, well, this is very clearly following the breakup of the civil wars, right. which was between you and your fellow musician, which is, you know, is My goal in writing it was that, um, so I could weave my way through it mm -hmm. and be stronger for having gone through so it. So I wonder though, there were, you wrote about 80 songs, didn't you? Yeah. Altogether. I don't so recommend that. Makes, that makes, and I didn't say I wrote 80 great songs, I just said I wrote 80 songs. Frankie, what, did, what did you say in the other songs that's not on the <laughs> oh, album? Oh goodness, a whole lot. I mean, <laughs> like I said, there's so much to process, but I'm, I mean, I will say the record does kind of um, cover a lot of emotional ground and, and a lot of emotional dynamics, starting with myself. And uh, I would only say there's, there's you know, one or two songs about the Civil War's ending and how I processed that. But then the rest of it is love and, like you said, forgiveness and moving on and becoming a new mum. That's, that's why people can relate to it, isn't it? Um, what did Justin Timberlake have to do with it? He helped, <laughs> did he? <laughs> yeah, that sounds so weird still saying it out loud. Yeah, we, uh, we met backstage at a late night show right. years ago and just instantly just connected just as friends. And um, he became... a a really great comrade in the midst of, of moving through this transition. He knew what it was like to move from being a part of a, an entity greater than himself to a solo career. And he was the one ultimately that um, introduced me to one of my main collaborators, mm -hmm. um, Matt Morris. And um, Matt changed the, the whole dynamic for me in making the record. So strange the way people come together in your life you know, to bring you to where you are. And his, you know, Justin's fingerprints are on this record, just like a lot of other wonderful people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were, you were known in your earlier career, and they loved to put sort of labels on music, particularly country sure. music, as sort of Christian but faith-based music. Mm -hmm. And your parents were both in, in the ministry, certainly your yeah. father was. Yes, definitely. How important was your faith to you during that time, awful time when your father was dying? Did it did it hold you up? Does it still mean things to you? I mean, I think that my faith definitely changed um, and, um, and got more three-dimensional for me. I would say it deepened and widened. Um, but I think, to, you know, when someone's passing away, someone that, you know, that I loved dearly and still do, um, it, it, really, it really brings you down back to earth. And um, 
while also untethering you at the same time. So I think the things that matter to me are still the things that have always mattered to me. But um, the way I see the world has definitely shifted. Um, I might be a little sadder now, maybe a little wiser, but maybe wise enough to just know I don't know a whole lot. And I have a lot, a, a lot left to learn. And I'm excited about that. And that's what this record is about. Oh, and it was your son's birthday, wasn't it? Come yes, yesterday. Oh. And we had, a, we had a party a couple of weeks earlier because I'm here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we thank you for that. Very yeah, much. I'm glad thank to be you. here. He won't remember. How old is he? Three? Three. Yeah. Let's okay. hope. Pictures. Pictures. <laughs> they were there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lovely to meet you. Thank yeah, you very you much. Yeah, you too. Indeed. Thanks. Joy Williams' album's called Venus. It is indeed. Uh, in